chair of the Montpelier DRB. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, I'd like to call the uh, January 8th. 18th 2022 meeting of the drb to order and um i believe uh we can just announce the uh members that are present um gene are you here yes hi all righty michael yes i'm here abby hello and are there any other board members on that i'm missing that's it. All righty. Um, so, um, um, is it Meredith or Mike? Let's turn it over to you for a little overview of uh, the uh, remote meeting procedures, or uh, can we entertain a motion to uh, uh, take up the first matter of business? Well, we can probably just move to the first order of business. Um, considering we're not really going to have much of a meeting, we don't really have to go through a lot of discussion about this. Um, so I think we can probably open the first and only uh, hearing for tonight. Okay. Um, so we are going to um, briefly take up the uh, Cliff Street uh, appeal application that is posted on the agenda. Um, and, um, I believe, uh, the appellate is not here this evening and, you know, in present, however, the applicant is, uh, on the call at this point. Is that correct? Yes. yes Arthur is here. Yes. Uh, Arthur, were you, did you get my message earlier today? I, I did Mike. Thank you for the, for the message. Okay. Um, okay, so so Arthur, uh, I, I think you understand, and just uh, so the members of the public know, we had a request uh, by the appellate to uh, continue the hearing to the next uh, to the next meeting. Um, do you have any objections to that, Arthur? Uh, I don't know what my options are in this situation, but given that there seem to be extenuating circumstances, going to the next meeting seems like the appropriate thing to do. Well, we appreciate your cooperation. That makes it easy for us because yeah. I don't know what the what our your options are either. <laughs> yeah, I think I could, I could give a little bit a little bit there for you, um, for Rob, just for the public's benefit. Um, so, uh, with with any application or any appeal, um, you know, we, you know, as as government and and anything, uh, everybody has due process rights. And so in certain situations, people have, uh, there's, there's a certain person who's kind of in the driver's seat on things. So had this been a conditional use appeal, Arthur would be in the driver's seat. And, and if he said, I need more time, we would defer to him to give him extra time to prepare his application to the board. Um, and, and in this case, uh, the appellant, uh, Susan, uh, Ban uh, Banfield, she actually has, uh, she's actually the one in the driver's seat because she is the appellant. Um, now at the same time, she has due process rights, but so does Arthur. So I did want to go and, you know, make sure we recognize that, um, you know, Arthur, Arthur has a right to, to be heard and have his application heard. Um, but, uh, and so when we conferred with our attorney a few weeks ago about some of these delays that we've been having before, um, one of which was mine, and I apologize for that. Um, my appendix did not cooperate with the last, the last hearing. Um, what, we, what we heard was that we should um, provide her the opportunity if she needed more time, but that that time is limited because of Arthur's due process rights. So um, I think it would be appropriate for us to, to, to um, delay this or continue this hearing to what I believe would be February 7th as the next next one. But regardless, we should be prepared to hear the application on that. So if, if something comes up on that day and, and Susan is unable to, to attend that hearing, we should still probably hold the hearing because at, at this point, we, you know, we've, we have to start weighing both a both applicant and appellant due process rights. And so if something comes up, we'll have to 
you know, hopefully everybody's here. Hopefully we all get heard. That's what we all want to have. But if something comes up, I think we should all be prepared to move forward with the application at the next at the next hearing date and, you know, recognize, you know, she has, um, Ms. Banfield has provided written testimony and provided information in her appeal that we could use to make a fair judgment of her appeal, whether she's here or not. So I think we should just be prepared for that and keep that in the back of our mind that, that we should continue this um, per what our attorneys had said before but that we should also be prepared at the next meeting to, to move forward to, to recognize um, Arthur has, has rights that we need to be respecting as well. Thank you for the great summary, Mike. In reference to Mike's great summary, do any board members have any uh, motions they would care to offer at this point in time? I just have a quick comment. Arthur, are you okay with that? Just um, with, with Mike's suggestion? Yeah, I think given the circumstance, it's reasonable to go to February. I think beyond that we would become quite difficult. So I think the uh, as laid out, it makes sense to me. All right, thank you. Well, I'd like to motion to continue this hearing for February 7th. Motion by Jean, is there a second? Yes, second. Second by Abby. I will call a roll call vote on the motion. Abby, how do you vote? Yes. Jean, how do you vote? Yes. Michael. Yes. And Rob, my cell phone's yes. That uh, carries unanimously 4-0. Oh, all Catherine, members present. Catherine's here as well. Yeah. Catherine has entered the meeting. I vote yes. Uh, sorry that I joined late out of family issue. So. All right. All righty. So that uh, is 5-0 uh, with Catherine and Rob voting yes as well. The motion passes. Um, thank you, Arthur, for your cooperation. We will see you for a full hearing on the 7th to address this appeal. Thanks very much. Is there any other business the board members would like to discuss this evening? I'd like to adjourn. Jean has made a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Oh, yeah. Second by Abby. Abby, how do you vote? Yes. Michael. Yes. Catherine. Yes. Jean. Yes. And Rob votes yes. That is unanimously approved. Five zero. We'll see you all on the seventh uh, of February. Thank you. Stay, stay well, everyone.